good morning students welcome to the 12th part of the chapter coordinate geometry now the topic of discussion here is points of trisection here we'll discuss what is this trisection and how to find the points of trisection of a given line segment to understand this topic let us do a small activity suppose you are given a stick a thin stick and you are asked to divide this into two equal parts then what is that you have to find now you have to find how long it is what is its length then you have to identify its midpoint so when you have to bisect this you have to take a ruler and you have to identify the midpoint of the stick with the help of that ruler then you have to cut along that midpoint then the stick is divided into two equal halves this process of dividing an object into two equal halves is called bisection what do we call it bisection now let us do one more activity you are given now another stick and now this object now the objective for you is you have to divide this into three equal parts how many equal parts you have to divide this into three equal parts once again you will find the length of this stick then how many points do you have to identify on this stick yes we have to identify two points on this at equal distance that is the concept here you have to identify two points on this stick at equal distances because we have to divide this stick into three equal parts so how many points we have to identify on the stick exactly we have to identify two points on this then you have to cut along those two points to get how many equal parts exactly three equal parts this way of dividing an object into three equal parts is called trisection so if you divide an object into two equal parts it is called bisection and if you divide an object into three equal parts it is called trisection exactly so to bisect an object how many times we have to cut it only once and to trisect an object how many times you have to cut it exactly you have to cut it two times so let us move to our regular coordinate plane here now we'll apply this concept of uh, this trisection to our coordinate geometry right suppose you have a line segment ab here and whose length is 10 cm now if you want to bisect this what is that we have to do we have to identify its midpoint and we have to cut along that midpoint this will be divided into two equal halves as the length of this ab is 10 cm e the length of each piece will be 5 cm so here point p is called point of bisection because it actually bisected ab of course p is the midpoint of ab that also we have learned we actually found a formula we actually derived a formula to find the coordinates of midpoint actually midpoint is point of bisection because this point divides the line segment into two equal parts now here we have taken one more line segment which is xy and whose length is 15 cm now i have to divide this into three equal parts that means we are going to trisect this as we discussed earlier in the activity how many points we have to identify on it very good we have to identify two points on it and if we cut along those two points you will be you will be having three pieces of that xy length of each part will be 5 cm because the length of xy is 15 15 by 3 will be 5 cm now in the previous case p was called point of bisection because it bisected the line segment now here p and q are called points of trisection because these two point actually divided the line segment into how many equal parts three equal parts so this is our concept of discussion today points of trisection so when you have a line segment and you want to trisect the line segment that means you want to divide the line segment into three equal parts we have to locate two points on that line segment which are called points of trisection let us discuss little more about this points of trisection here as i as i told you p and q are called points of trisection 
let us discuss each point at a time. Now here take P. Now how far is P from X? It is 5. Now what is the distance from P to Y? It is actually 10 cm because P was here. It was 10, 5 and there was somewhere here we had Q and the distance was 5. So this total from P to Y will be 10. Now what is the ratio in which P divides XY? 5 cm is to 10. So P divides the line segment XY in the ratio 5 is to 10 and 5 and 10 have a common factor 5, 5 1s and 5 2s. So this P divides the line segment in the ratio 1 is to 2. Let us take the case of the other point of trisection, section which is, which is Q. Now what is the distance from X to Q now? Exactly it is 10 cm. Now what is the distance from Q to Y? It is 5 cm because the total length is 15. Now what is the ratio in which Q divides XY? Very good. It is 10 is to 5. As 10 and 5 have a common factor 5, it becomes 2 is to 1. This is the heart of this discussion. We have to understand the thing is points of trisection divide the line segment into how many equal parts? Three equal parts. That's why it is called trisection, just like a triangle. Right? So it has three parts. Whenever you want to divide a line segment into three equal parts, you have to find points of trisection. Now the concept here is these points of trisection divide the line segment into the ratios 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 1. This is the concept that you have to keep in your mind. Whenever you are asked to find the points of trisection of a line segment, we have to use the section formula two times. One is for the first point of trisection where you have to use the ratio 1 is to 2 and for the other point of trisection, what is the ratio you have to use? 2 is to 1. Very good. So points of trisection, whenever you are asked to calculate, we have to use section formula two times. One with the ratio 1 is to 2 and the other with the ratio 2 is to 1. Now let us have a line segment AB whose coordinates of, uh, whose coordinates, uh, the end points are x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now I have to locate its points of trisection. Now what is the formula we have to make use of? Very good, we have to make use of section formula. How many times we have to make use of this section formula? Two times because we have to find two points, one time for each point. Now this first point divides the line segment in which ratio? 1 is to 2. And what is the other ratio in which the second point divides? 2 is to 1. So this is what you have to understand. Whenever you have to find the points of trisection, you have to use the section formula and while using the section formula, you have to take for the first point M1 is to M2 as 1 is to 2 and for the second point of trisection, you have to take the ratio as 2 is to 1. We have solved so many problems involving this section formula. So whenever you are given to find the points of trisection, Yes, you have to make use of the section formula once with the ratio m1 is to m2 as 1 is to 2 and the other time with the ratio 2 is to 1. Exactly. Now let us take this. For the first point of trisection, we have taken m1 is to m2 as 1 is to 2. Now let us write the section formula. Let us write the values once as we have done in the previous cases. We write m1, m2, m1, m2 two times. Then let us write x1, x2 and uh, y1, y2. So this is a section formula as we know m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 that is the x coordinate and for y coordinate m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. As we know we have to multiply m1 with x2 and m2 with x1 and again m1 with y2 and m2 with y1. Now this will become 1 into 7 plus 2 into minus 2 by what is m1 plus m2? 1 plus 2. Again y coordinate m1 into 4 plus 2 into minus 2 divided by again 1 plus 2. So after substitution, what, this is what you will have. Now 1 7s are 7. 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. So here you will have 7 minus 4 divided by how much is the denominator? It is 3. Very good. Then in, in this case of y coordinate, 1 4s are 4. 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. So it will be 4 minus 4 divided by 3. So this is 7 minus 4 by 3, 4 minus 4 by 3. So 7 minus 4 is 3, so it is 3 by 3 and 0 by 3. As we know 3 by 3 is 1, 
and then you divide 0 by a non-zero quantity, it will be 0. So the first point of trisection is 1 and 0. Let us take the second case. Now here for the second case, what is the ratio you have to make use of? Exactly, 2 is to 1. Now the same procedure is the same as it is in the same case, in the previous case. So let us take the values here. So M1, M2 you will write and you will take X1, X2 and Y1, Y2. Now let us write the section formula once again. Now let us multiply now M1, Y2 plus M2, sorry, M1, X2 plus M2, X1. And again M1, Y2 plus M2, Y1 divided by M1 plus M2. So this will be now 2 into 7 plus 1 into minus 2 by 1, 2 plus 1. Now it will become actually 2 plus 1 here. Uh, you just make it a chain, it will be actually 2 plus 1, right? Then here, m1 y2, so 2 into 4 plus m2 y1, 1 into minus 2 by 2 plus 1. Now here you will have 2 7s are 14 minus 2 1s are 2. 2 4s are 8, because it is a negative, it will be negative, otherwise it will be positive only. So 14 minus 2 is 12 by 3 and 8 minus 2 is 6 by 3. So 12 by 3, is, as we know it is 4 and 6 by 3 is so this is how you have to calculate the points of trisection. So the concept here is whenever you are asked to find the points of trisection, you have to find the points of trisection by using the section formula. Once with the ratio m1 is to m2 as 1 is to 2 and the other time with the ratio 2 is to 1. So this is uh, how we can use the section formula. right? So here I am giving you a small assignment. I have given you two problems here. Find the points of trisection for line joining AB and here CD. You have to take how many points you have to find out? Two points for each line segment. You have to find first point of trisection here and another second point here. First, first, for first point you have to take 1 is to 2 and for the second one you have to take 2 is to 1. So this is the concept of points of trisection. Two points dividing the given line segment into Three equal parts are called points of trisection. So points of trisection are the points on the line segment which divide the line segment into how many equal parts? Three parts. So for the first part, you have to take 1 is to 2 as the ratio and for the second point, you have to take the ratio as 2 is to 1. So solve these two problems and post it to me. Practice this because these are very, very important concepts as far as, far as your examinations are concern. Thank you.